Hello, welcome, and thank you for joining me yet again. My name is Wilkie, and I'm here with another Lost Art Guide. This is going to be a quick rundown of what I do post Chaos Dungeon. More importantly, what to do with the specific drops, what they are for, and what I would recommend you guys do on a daily basis after Chaos Dungeon's run. So first of all, this is specifically for Tier 3. There is going to be a difference between Tier 2 and Tier 1. The main difference between the other tiers is that you're not going to get broken gear, but actual wearable gear. The mechanics around this are still the same. Also in tier 1 there are no gems. So those jewelry or those gems are only available in tier 2 and tier 3. So for those of you who are looking to learn about this and also prepare yourself for the actual NA and EU launch next year, these gems will not be available at, at the start of the game. They will be introduced once we actually get to Yorn and further on ahead. Outside of this, the first thing that I started with, I click on the gem synthesis tool here. Just select the 9 one here. This auto selects every gem, including the ones that are on the second page here. And you just click synthesize and voila, you're already having quite a bit of junk removed from inventory. All this does is it merges the gems and the way that works is one level to one gem or three level one gems become one level two gem three level two gems become one level three gem and you kind of get the idea and this is how you get more gems as you can see here we have a bunch of more so for example if i take this one here it'll allow me to craft a level four gem out of this so this is the first step that i would be doing in order to get rid of some of the junk the second thing that i typically do is i check the accessories now depending on the tier it might be legendary it might be artifact whatever you're looking for but this is definitely the second thing that i do so we're just going to go through the artifact here this one's trash because it has agility specialty so those stat wise are pretty good but enhanced ether and gladiator nobody's ever going to use that precision dagger but endurance and the way i typically do this the first thing that i check is the additional effect so the stat if it's anything other than crit agility or specialty it typically discard it instantly unless there's like a very specific combination of engravings but typically anything that isn't a stat that is usable just goes directly to the trash or to the dismantle them after the first step is broken so let's see we have crit here okay so crit is good we're going to take a look at the engraving effects near death and ether boy nobody's going to use that specialty is good massacre three yeah it's fine but pulverizing fist nobody uses that so we're going to trash that same thing here, endurance, just drop it. Endurance, drop it. Endurance, drop it. For the stones, it's fairly simple. You just have to look at the, the engravings there. Blitz Commander Adrenaline, this might actually be used, so we're gonna keep that. Unyielding Fast, I don't think anybody uses that. Neither ignore the Wake and Master's Potential. You could technically also check the legendary ones, as you can see here, there's a specialist short one, but it's you. So none of these are, technically they can be worth it, but for me, I only take a look at the artifact gears. So we have Mass Increase 5 and Panic 3. This might be usable by someone. I don't know if it will, but I would try to sell this piece here. What do we have here? Broken Bone, nah. Steady State and Specialist. I don't think that's gonna be useful. Mass Increase, well, we said to keep that. We don't keep that. Specialty, but has Ether Boy and Guillotine 3, so drop it. Mass Increase Heavy Armor, nope. Massacre Vital Attack. And that's pretty much the second thing that I do. Then I will just instantly dismantle. But before we dismantle, here's the third thing that I want to do. The third thing left to do is pretty much check for any tripods that are there. In case you are new to the game, you can set a tripod notification on your gears. If you open your skill menu, press K, set the tripods here. And thank you Deadly Kitten for the follow here. You have all of your skills listed here and you can select, for example, in this skill you can see I have a tripod notification here, here, and here. And every time a gear piece drops that has the tripod that I mentioned or that I have notified here, then it'll pop up here. You can also filter this further on if you go to your in-game options, gameplay show. This might be, this is probably going to be differently translated. Just scroll down a little bit. And you have a tripod notice tab here and say item rank below effect level lower and minimum tripod level so i filter for tripods level three or higher so if there would be a tripod that's level two but is for the skill it will not show up so this is how i go about this and that pretty much all i do is i bunch pump everything in here and i just right click the ones with the notification out and i remember i wanted to keep that and i just dismantle the rest same thing goes here we're just going to do that boom 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 that one should have not been out and that is it and this is pretty much how 
I personally filter and select what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. The last thing that's pretty much left to do is just decide, do I want to sell any of these? Do I want to use any of these? In case you want to use any of these, the next step is very straightforward. All we're going to do is head to the tripod NPC and select or try to get the tripods on. We're just going to do that with one or two quick examples. We're going to go here. Also, the way I typically do this, so I have all tripods here in this piece. We're going to dump through this. This is also done. Okay, this is the first tripod that I want to replace. So, by hovering over this effect, the current level that you can see here on the right that pops up is your actual level of the tripod. That tells me that I already have Ring of Light with the Awakening Dragon on level 4. So actually getting that tripod will not do me any good. What I mean by that is if we take a look at that Ring of Light, you can see Awakening Dragon is level 4. So this tripod is just as useless as one that isn't listed for me. So that is pointless to do. Let's go through the list here. Scorching Wave, same thing here. I have a tripod at the same level doesn't help me. Moonrise, now I have one at level 2, so this is definitely the first one that we could do. If I really want to tripod, you can add some first class powder. This was used to be called albedo, if you want to do that. I just don't really think that tripod is that necessary. Well, we failed. That's it. We have two more pieces. We have Ring of Light quickly prepare. We I don't even have any tripod here, so I definitely want to make sure this one goes. Knowing this video is probably going to fail. Oh, it actually went through, and now we have 7.2 second cooldown reduction instead of 5 seconds, that's pretty neat. And now we see if we have anything here, and that goes to show it's just another Awakening Dragon tripod. And that's pretty much it. And that is pretty much everything you need to do in terms of your items. Just filter the rest, pump the rest into your warehouse. Same goes for your tickets. And the rest of the tripods, I would personally just list them, try and sell them for a little bit of gold, and if they don't sell after a day or two, just dismantle them for extra materials. And that is it. That is it. Like I said, what I would do post Chaos Dungeon. TLDR is merge your gems if you're in tier 2 or tier 3 content. Dismantle everything you don't need. Select or figure out if there are tripod and stat combinations and engraving combinations on any of the pieces that you find. Typically, I start with my accessories and my stones. Just filter if there are good engraving combinations with a desired stat. Try and sell it or maybe use it yourself. If there's trash, just dismantle it. And same goes for the tripod. If you have any use for that, try to use it yourself. If you already have that tripod, which is for example, in my case here, the Awakening Dragon, I can try and sell this for a little bit of gold. Typically good tripods may sell for anything between 200 and 500 gold. That also depends on how frequent the class is being used, how effective or how good the tripod is. And if it is a level three or a level four tripods, level four tripods are pretty, pretty valuable. As you can see, I don't have any level. There's one level four tripod here, but on a pretty stupid skill. But that just goes to show level four tripods are definitely valuable. Anyways, this is all. As usual, if you guys want to see me live, I also stream every now and then on Twitch. You can find the link in the description below. Outside of that, I do hope this was helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.